welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to show you a pretty neat plugin called Reports Plus, which allows you to bring some enhancements into the reports module. This is exciting. Um, if you've not worked with our plugins before, we do have another Monday Minutes on how to install plugins. With the introduction of Koha 2005, you can now not even leave Koha and install a plugin. Under the administration is where your plugins live, way at the bottom down here, manage plugins. So if you have not installed this plugin yet and you're on 2005, you can go ahead and search just this report. If I click in here, you would be able to see those plugins that would maybe apply, but we already have it in here. Jesse, you wanna talk about really what the purpose somebody would use this for? Yeah, so under the Reports Plus plugin, um, this just gives us a little more information to bring um, you know, data into the system or analyze. The one that I always think about is like ISBNs. Let's say you got a, um, a list of ISBNs, maybe from one of your book jobbers or vendors, and you wanted to search for those within the system, that allows you to bring a list of those ISBNs in. Of course, there's lots of other functionality, but like this is a nice enhancement to the existing um, reports module in Koha. Yeah, another great example would be is if for some reason you got a list of barcodes from a staff member and you're like, I need more information about this. How do I get this information from Koha with a list of barcodes? So we're going to go with that example. Um, we're going to put this report that we're going to use in today's session. So you have a good starting point, but of course we can help you with any um, situational reports you're looking for. I think I kept it under reports plus. There it is. Let me go ahead and show that. So here, what this is going to do, it is, it's giving me my select statement. So it's just a regular SQL report that's saying, hey, give me the title, call number, location, barcode, and grabbing this. But this where statement is where we're going to attach this report to the plugin and fill in those values for this specific report. Once this report is created, then we're gonna actually use that plugin. You have to remember the report number. You have to know the report number. 312. 312. 312. So now when we jump into this reports plus, we're going to come over to actions and we're going to click on that run report. So this is where it's important to have that number so we can enter in that 312 and run that report. Now we're going to grab a list of the barcodes that we have. So I'm going to click this list and hit enter and that's going to bring me my text box that I can go a perfect example where if you have the barcodes already or you have those ISBN numbers, whatever it is, you can just paste these values in and then run the report. Run it's a report. huge, huge helper. Okay. So there we go. Now we have that information in a report form that I can see, oh, these barcodes are connected to this and be able to do what I need to do with them. So it's pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. Yeah, so we'll provide that report. Um, and go ahead and give this a shot. I'm sure you can think of a great way to use this reports plug plus plugin. And if you are already using the plugin, share with us and we will share that out with all of our listeners and viewers because I'm sure there's many more ways that this can be useful for your library. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a great idea, Jesse. Okay. Well, have a great week. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.